Hey everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Prime. We have something to talk to you about today about Pokemon Legends Arceus sales because obviously the game comes out next week Friday and hype is building, anticipation is going. Pokemon games obviously always sell extremely well. But I find what's happening with at least the early sales data we have for Pokemon Legends Arceus to be quite fascinating and potentially putting Pokemon Legends Arceus on track to be one of the best selling Pokemon games to ever come out. And that's without having two different copies of the game to sell. Quite interesting, right? Now, before we get into it, I just gotta remind you quick to drop a like and subscribe to this channel if this is the first time you've been here. Also, by the way, we do have a couple giveaways going on. Just head down to the pinned comment or the description to find out details on that. All right, let's just dive deep into this at the moment, right? So we have some sales data. We don't have exact numbers, of course, because the game's not out yet, and exact numbers usually take at least a month to compile for launch anyways. But we have a really good idea based on retail and uh, where the game is ranking on the sales charts to really start to get a picture for how well Pokemon Legends Arceus is going to sell. So if we look at the Amazon best-selling charts uh, currently for video games in both the United States, the UK, Japan, Germany, Spain, and pretty much any country you can think of, Pokemon Legends Arceus ranks number one as the best selling video game right now. Now you might go, well, it's not number one on the eShop or anything anywhere, and that's because they don't really show those eShop rankings until like right up to launch. So we're just gonna focus in on this. And the reason we're focusing in on these sales is because it is quite impressive. Not that a Pokemon game is topping the charts, but it is topping the charts in essentially every territory where Switch is a big deal. This is especially important because this is just a single SKU Pokemon game. This game is, is considered a mainline Pokemon game by the Pokemon Company and Game Freak. They've officially confirmed it on multiple occasions that this is a mainline game, so just to get rid of any and all confusion. And honestly, this is looking like it's going to end up being a major seller. Now, there's other reasons we have to think about this, and don't worry, I'm not going to actually spoil anything. I'm well aware the game is leaked. We just went over all this on the podcast last night. But what I will note here is that in looking at the leaks, in looking at the reaction to the leaks, it seems that hype is only building more. See, it was just a week ago Forbes was writing an article about how bad the visuals are with Pokemon Legends Arceus and how it's inexcusable for this to happen with this game. And to be fair, their criticisms might still hold water. Uh, obviously, we obviously had like, you know, Nate Drake, Nate the Hate disputing this and saying that people were going to change their opinion once the game came out. But the bottom line here is that narrative seems to have been completely washed away since the leaks came out because obviously the thing that matters most, especially when you're playing a Pokemon game, isn't really that the visuals are the best thing we've ever seen it's that the gameplay is something that is what fans want and so far that's exactly what we are seeing again without spoiling really anything that matters the gameplay is clearly doing something right and because of that the hype is driving even higher and making people want to buy this game even more now while i won't spoil anything about the story i will give a small little spoiler warning here for a brief second on one little mechanic it's one mechanic in the game it's actually part of the entire game but you know it's fundamentally different so if you wanted to wait until the game came out to find out this one tiny little mechanic that's cool but one thing you can do in this game is swap your Pokemon's abilities anytime you want. So you know you usually have four abilities and like you get a new one and you have to like get rid of one of the old moves to learn the new move and you can never get the old moves back. At any time you could just go into your party and change the moves and not lose any of the old ones. They just go on a list on the left and you can change them on the right and you can do this with all of your Pokemon. This is a grand fundamental change to, to Pokemon Legends Arceus and what I will say is that's just getting to the tip of the iceberg of fundamental core changes in this game that has people paying attention to the leaks super excited and when you hear about something like that that's so fundamentally different it should make you even more excited to get this game if what you have been hoping for this entire time was for the pokemon company and game freak to do fundamentally different things with the gameplay mechanics both from a uh, perspective of obviously things we know publicly such as trainers being attacked to obviously now things that are being leaked at this point pokemon legends arceus is such a fundamental shift in what pokemon 
is, at least what we've known it to be, that this is, and I am fully confident in saying this, the Breath of the Wild of the Pokemon franchise. Breath of the Wild fundamentally changed a lot of things. No traditional dungeons, breakable items, cooking, obviously making the stamina better even more than it's ever done, allowing climbing everywhere. Obviously the flying mechanic with the, uh, the sailcloth. Like there's so many things. This game that obviously being fully open world, which is not the first fully open world Zelda game, but the first one in quite some time. The thing is there were so many fundamental differences that it really fundamentally changed what we know Zelda to be and what Zelda can be and that's what Pokemon Legends Arceus is doing whether or not it all comes together and we end up loving it and enjoying it and praising it and it gets really really high reviews and obviously you know sales that end up matching like Animal Crossing New Horizons or something I don't know but what we do know is the hype levels are so high for this game that it's topping all of the sales charts that we even have available to look at and that's before the game even comes out and I don't think it's going to be leaving the top of those sales charts anytime soon to see it at the top in so many fundamentally different territories with different consumer bases lets you know they're doing something right at least when it comes to the pre-release Hype. Now, I have a few other videos I obviously would like to do on Pokemon Legends Arceus before launch. We will be doing a launch live stream uh, at least next Friday, if not over that course of the weekend. We'll see how that goes. Uh, but what I will note is that there is some things we do fundamentally want to cover about this game. One, I want to let you know the cheapest ways you can actually get your hands on Pokemon Legends Arceus. I did this back in the day for Super Mario 3D All-Stars, and I really should start doing this for more games because I think everyone's always looking for the best deals they can get on games and I already know what to do in that video to make it obvious that you can get Pokemon Legends Arceus for cheaper than MSRP so I want to make a video on that and some of you guys might already know what I'm going to bring up in order to get it cheaper but you know keep that to yourselves everyone because obviously the point of those videos isn't for our regular viewers it's for the viewers out there that aren't aware of this stuff I know our regulars already know how to get video games as cheap as possible. Uh, so yeah, we will be uh, talking about that at some point next week. Uh, and then I do want to also maybe highlight a little bit of a personal thought slash spin I have that Pokemon Legends Arceus potentially not only could be the greatest Pokemon game ever made, but actually maybe get in the conversation for being one of the best games of all time, let alone one of the best games on Switch, which is a very bold statement to make and obviously not one I can verify till I play the game myself and formulate all of my own opinions but just based on some things that maybe we're willing to get into a little bit spoiler wise maybe we could end up coming up with a really great video for that so there'll be other news and other video content along the way other fundamental things we'll want to talk about maybe we'll focus even on that video that I want to make with that opinion on just the officially announced information and what we can glean from that and why I, I hold the opinion I do. And I can also talk about maybe one more video, maybe to go out like the day before launch on why Pokemon Legends Arceus seems to have such a broad appeal to people who don't enjoy Pokemon anymore, let alone those that do. Uh, so I think fundamentally, this is also something that we have to look at with the sales because I did note that obviously it's topping all these sales charts but we didn't really talk much about why it's topping the sales chart it's Pokemon it's popular of course that's like the number one chief reason but also if you can think about like Pokemon Go on phones it did something that the Pokemon games on the handheld systems have really not been able to do and that is find a way to bring together anyone who has you know, even a base interest at some point in their life in Pokemon into one game and Pokemon Go has been played by more people than have ever played Pokemon before and while they've never been able to capture that in a game form I think Legends Arceus does a really great job of essentially bringing back potentially everyone who's ever played and enjoyed a Pokemon game at any point plus all of the current fans of Pokemon and I think this fundamental you know meeting of minds of current fans and old fans that no longer enjoy the games um, could end up being the catalyst that keeps this game selling well and potentially gives it an Animal Crossing New Horizon style like boost to the top. And the thing is like, you know, let's say a, a new duality really standard Pokemon game comes out later this year, whether it's Let's Go uh, in, in Generation 2 or, you know, it's a new generation or whatever they end up releasing this year if they release anything at all. Um, I don't think that that even overshadows something like this. This has the potential to do, I think, what Pokemon games traditionally don't. And this is going to sound weird, but did you know that Pokemon games are not actually 
an evergreen title. Yes, the prices don't get reduced. But if you look at the sales of Pokemon games over time, they're not selling four or five million units a year like Mario Kart 8 Deluxe or like, you know, Breath of the Wild or even, you know, games, smaller games like, uh, I, I don't know, Splatoon 2 or something. Like, they're not as evergreen, right? They might end up selling more units overall, but that's because they sell so many units in the first six months on the market that the rest of the sales are kind of negligible for the next couple of years. And I'm saying all of this because this is the game that's so fundamentally different, that flips the script so much. And I don't think there's going to be a direct sequel to this specific Pokemon game for some time that I actually think this is going to be one of the first evergreen Pokemon titles since the original Generation 1. I think this has the potential to not only sell 10, 15 million or so in the first six months, I think this has future sales potential for years to come of selling three to five million per year, making it a true evergreen Pokemon title. And that's what's going to lead it to the same sort of success Animal Crossing has. Now, Animal Crossing did most of its sales in its first year, obviously, at this point. But still, I think that there is a lot of value to be had there and a lot to be said uh, for the success or potential success of this game so you guys let me know if you're excited by the current sales of the game where it's ranking in the sales charts and obviously where you think the final sales are going to end up not just at launch like we get to we, we can make launch predictions i'm going to say eight million at launch or something right make we can make launch predictions but let's also maybe project out we are now heading into the next generation of nintendo platforms how many copies is Pokemon Legends Arceus sold at that point? And if you think it will crack Nintendo's top 10 on Switch, where in that top 10 will it rank? I'm going to go so far as to be bold and say it hits number 4 or 5, if not higher. You guys let me know where you think it will rank, if at all, in that top 10 chart. And will this be one of the best-selling, if not the best-selling Pokemon games of all time? Um, I don't know. Your projections. I made mine, sort of. I didn't give any final figures on that number, but, you know. I mean, give me a little bit of time to think about that one. All right, folks, I'm Nathaniel Rubble Jance from Nintendo Prime. I want to thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.